I need to make a comment on a video I saw the other day from Nick's Strength and Power. Nick is a great guy and he's doing an incredible service. He makes the best videos when it comes to news and media regarding the bodybuilding world. He presented a video about a man that was in end-stage kidney disease and made an amazing five-month transformation that appears to be back to health. <clears throat> I need to discuss what's going on because as a medical expert in this field of how steroids can destroy the body's health, I want to talk to you about what I think is going on here. Now, this is not a patient of mine. I have to be very careful about that. And I don't know this patient particularly, but let me explain what I see, what's going on, and what happens to men's kidneys from anabolic steroid use in the world of bodybuilding. So This man uh, was a young man and he used anabolic steroids, we assume, for many years in addition to high levels of protein, probably non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and he ended up over time in what we call end-stage kidney disease, where he felt horrible and tired and sick and he went to a doctor and they did blood tests and they saw that his kidneys were uh, failing and he uh, I assume was put on dialysis and that's where I want to pick up from so what happens is and I have to bring this to attention please if you're going to use steroids you need to know this this happens anabolic steroids with susceptible men for focal segmental glomerular sclerosis FSGS and kidney disease with genetics that it's lurking and you have a, a, a lower threshold for it, and then you use steroids. Maybe you're hypertensive, which I'm assuming this man was hypertensive for many years. Despite that, kept using steroids, too much protein, and then we see non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs being used. That's the sequence, and that's the setup for this. And I've diagnosed many men in the pre-stages of this right now, I have to give a reach out. I have to flash out to this because what happened to this man is probably he went into end stage kidney disease. He received care and probably has received a transplanted kidney and now he appears to be healthy again. Okay, so this man most likely has a transplanted kidney, almost 100% guaranteed. And He's living with a transplanted kidney and he's living on a multitude of drugs for anti-rejection medications and that's very complicated medicine. And I want it to be known that it looked like the way Nick presented it, and again, Nick, you're doing a great job. You're not a doctor, that's fine. It appears that this guy does steroids, he crashes and burns, he looks horrible, and then the last picture, he's not back to the bodybuilding shape, and it's interesting, but he looks pretty good, and looks like he's probably back on TRT at least, or he's looking pretty healthy. So I want it to be known, I want to give this warning that it's not that easy. This wasn't some transformation that this guy started doing something or saw a doctor, and all of a sudden that he's healthy again. This man suffered, this man went through horrific means and he has a transplanted kidney. Do you want that? Please be careful. Please be careful. If you do steroids, it may lead to more and more steroids and you may end up damaging your kidneys or your heart. I really hope this helps. Thank you so much. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.